Selamat Patang. Today we are going to eat Malaysian food at Madame Guan's restaurant. It's the one located at Surya KLCC, which is right below the Petronas Towers. Hello! Welcome to Ken Show Quest. We're traveling the world full time with kids. Please subscribe for packing tips and travel inspiration. Give us a thumbs up! Today we're having lunch at Madame Kwan's, which is a local restaurant here in Kuala Lumpur. There's actually uh, several locations now, and the reason why we chose this restaurant is first, we've eaten here before and we like it a lot. We wanted to show you that if you've never had Malay food or you're kind of, you know, on the fence of whether or not I should try any local food, well, this is a great place to start because it's easy to find there in the malls, it's nice and clean, and you can get hawker style food without actually going to the street. Kai Show is going to have nasi lemak, which is a very traditional Malay dish. Let's take a look at the desserts, Kate. I think you might like this one. Sago Gula Malacca. It says that it's a dessert made with boiled pearl, served with palm sugar syrup and coconut milk. Does that sound good? It looks like it might be similar to tapioca pudding. So maybe that one for dessert? It, it does. Which one is it? What's the picture? This one here. But you know, now I see this other one here with these red beans looks really good too. But what is this stuff on the side? You know what, this has pandan jelly, just like you guys were making that pandan dessert last night. Only oh, they made it into like noodle shape and red bean. Let's see, what else does that one have? And shave ice and coconut milk. And this is durian. Does that sound good, pandan, red bean, and durian? Okay. Yeah. So which dessert do you think looks the best? That one? The Good tapioca choice. Pudding one. I'm going to have Assam Laksa, which is thick rice noodles and tamarind fish broth topped with local mackerel fish, sliced cucumber, and onions. It's one of Madame Kwan's recommended dishes. Okay. Well, would you like Hadoum? Are you going to eat? Hadoum wants to eat. My fish soup is here. It's nice and warm and it smells delicious. I'm ready to dig in. How do would you like some fish? And Haisho's food has arrived as well. Haisho, what do you have? Nasi lemak. Hado's gonna have some fish. It's hot. It's food off. Mmm, yummy. This is coconut cooked in rice. How is it? Yeah, so nice. Okay, how do you have one of your cucumbers? These are nice, pretty cucumbers. Come on, let's go. So we have a, a curry chicken here yeah. with uh, half a boiled egg. He has some, um, I think that's sambal back there, and some ground up anchovies, I believe. That's what this is here for. With some fragrant coconut flavored rice. The broth is really rich and creamy. The waiter was saying that it's made with milk. It also tastes like butter to me. Kaisho, so do you like nasi lemak? Yes. So do you think other kids should try it? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, do you want the, mm, how do you want some of the coconut rice? There you go. Oh, it even smells like coconut. It's really fragrant. We've ordered nasi lemak at a lot of restaurants and sometimes it just seems like regular rice, but here you can even just smell the coconut milk. Kaisho, can you tell me about the different flavors? Well, the rice definitely 
has a coconut flavor to it. The chicken, well, uh, all it really tastes is spicy. Does it also have a coconut flavor to it? No. No? Okay. And what else do you have? And the egg that I'm going to give the hiding chow. It's just a boiled egg, right? Yeah. What about the uh, sambal? Can you try this and tell me what that tastes like? Just a little bite. Mm. I don't get to just eat it. Just, is my, it. just my tongue touching it, I can get a super spicy and sweet flavor. Spicy and sweet. Interesting. Yeah. Do you taste anything else in there? No. No umami? Just spicy and sweet? Yeah. So that's not something you like? Yeah. No? Okay. So you basically like the fragrant rice and the chicken. Nice. Wow, very fragrant. I can smell the, the, the tamarind. I have some basil and also some mint right on top. Mmm. Rice noodles. My dish is called Assam Laksa. Assam means sour. So this is a sour, like sour soup. Look at these really thick noodles here. Wow. That's just bursting with flavor. It's sour, but it's also kind of sweet with the, uh, the tamarind. And it's also spicy. But this is really good. I got some uh, mackerel. Mm. My favorite part of the soup is this fish. It's so delicious. However they cooked it before they put it in there is really good. And then the rich broth. And mine also has rice noodles in it as well. And some soft tofu. It's a really nice, warm, comfort food. Like if you're feeling like you just don't want something warm you up inside, this is a great one to choose. And it's not spicy. It's um, more just a rich flavor. Yeah, I would describe it as buttery rich. So if you want something that's not too spicy, this is a good option. And what do you call your dish again? It's called fish noodle soup on the menu. It has a very umami flavor to it. A little bit salty. My dish is getting spicier and spicier with the bite, so uh, just a little heads up that if you order this, at first it didn't seem so spicy, but now I'm on fire. So if you can handle spice, no problem. <laughs> Wow, this is actually super sweet. We got some fermented uh, cabbage in here. Too sweet for my taste, actually. I think Haru wants to try it. Here you go, Haru. Okay, you don't like it? Carrot, Haru, carrot. Carrot. Maybe too sweet for Haru as well. This is te tarik. Uh, tarik means the pouring of the drink from uh, quite a distance. Our waiter was explaining to us that the name may actually have some effect on the flavor. So I don't know because I've never uh, had this drink before, but it is very similar to a Indian chai masala chai. There is a, you know, uh, some other flavors, I would say some other spices in it that kind of differentiates it a little bit. Yeah, it's delicious. Um, it's recommended to have a hot version. This is how they traditionally have it, but recently they have started selling it cold as well. But you might as well try it the way it should be drank. Touch it, it's a little hot. What do you think, Kaisha? Really hot. Hot? What's what about the flavor? The Can you look at me and tell? Me? It flavor? just tastes normal. Tea. Are there spices in it? Can you tell us it's sweet, it's sour? Here to me, it's sweet. That's 
all the flavors they taste. The rest, I don't even know what the flavor is. Yeah, and that makes sense because it's mostly a lot of different spices in here. It's got coconut milk, it looks like some chia seeds, and it's got this pretty pink syrup at the bottom. Uh, it came with a mixer, but not a straw, so maybe I better get out my straw. Haru really wants to try it. There's no straw, Haru. Do you like it? Yeah? It's good? <laughs> I already kind of mixed the gradient, but it was going from white to pink. Mm. It's sweet, and it's got like little jellies, and then I got the soda version, so it's got little fizzy bubbles in there too. I think the jellies are chia seeds. I think this is like the rose syrup, the pink syrup, so it tastes like rose. That would make sense. It's, it's beautiful. Nice. It's a beautiful, very beautiful. nice presentation. Very sweet. It tastes like you're drinking flowers. Mm. Did you want to try it, Kasha? I think we had this one before, actually. It has a little bit of soda water in it, the bubbles. It tastes weird. <laughs> Kaisho doesn't like carbonation. He's never really had soda, so the soda version is a little strange for him. Hana wants some more. Do you want me to put some in there? You want an ice cube, Hana? And this is special for Haru too. We usually don't let her have this either. It's called Bandung, this drink. <laughs> But is it good? Yes. Are the pearls chewy? Um, what's it like when you break? Let me see. They are chewy. I really like that coconut sugar syrup. It tastes, well, what is it, the flavor? Like brown sugar or maple syrup, maybe. It's very liquidy. It's not thick like a tapioca pudding would be. Next time we should go gentle on the syrup, just a little bit to taste it at first instead of dumping the whole thing in. But also, Kaisho knows his limitations. He never eats too much sweets. People That's may true. get the idea that we eat a ton of sweets, but we actually limit ourselves. As you can see, we only ordered one dessert. It was a delicious meal. If you'd like to see more of our adventures in Malaysia, be sure to subscribe to Kencho Quest. You want to go playground? Playground, Haru? Yeah! Make sure you come to Madame Kwan's early. They open 11. If you don't want to be waiting in line for half an hour longer, 